Hi, this is Tyson with another SketchUp Skill Builder. In a previous Skill Builder, we were creating patterns in SketchUp. And one of the ways you might use that is in Layout. Any shape in Layout can be filled with a pattern. And although there are a number of patterns that come standard, you can also import custom patterns. So let's explore how we can take the patterns we create in SketchUp and bring them into Layout. To begin, let's go back to our pattern in SketchUp and copy one of these to the side. Now it's often helpful to create a scene in SketchUp to find a certain view and particularly if you created multiple patterns then you may want to create multiple scenes corresponding to each one. So I'm going to save a scene and make sure that camera location is an option checked here. Now I will save this and send it to Layout. In Layout, let's choose a plain paper. The size is not very important because the first thing we're going to do is change the document paper size. So go up to File, Document Setup, and under Paper, I'm going to change this to 4 inches by 4 inches. If you use a different unit, that's fine. You can select it here. And under grid, I also want to choose a spacing that has relevance. So I'm going to have one inch spacing, I'll toggle minor grid off, and show the grid. Now I need to match my pattern to the paper size. And because I created this at four inches by four inches, I'm simply going to go into the SketchUp model with it selected under view I'll choose full size. Now let me shrink the window down around it a little, little closer. The window itself doesn't snap to any of these points and we do want the window to conform to the pattern size exactly but we'll do that in a moment. Now to get this to match up exactly to the grid, we could use the rotation gizmo. However, it will snap only to geometry and this point's hidden. So there's two ways we could address that. We could choose a style that has hidden geometry on, or we could just give us a reference. So I could draw a line here and here, and now I can move that point exactly to here and then I'm going to turn grid snap on and turn object snap off so that I can snap this point exactly to the corner because our grid is on. Erase out these edges we don't need and we're almost ready to export. If you did choose a style where hidden edges are shown, be sure to choose a different style where hidden edges are off. Also at this point we should be able to snap to these corners and we want to tighten that up. And the final thing to do is with again our pattern selected turn this to a vector render so we'll get much cleaner line work. Now let's go file, export, PNG or JPEG With our JPEG exported, let's see how well it works. We'll create a new file. Create a shape and fill it with a pattern. Now I can double click on the pattern itself to open the pattern fill dialog box and import custom pattern. And there it is, works great. You can change the rotation and the scale. But that's how you can create a pattern specifically for layout that you created in SketchUp. Hope you found this useful. Give it a try.